The National Park Service Arrowhead logo appears with text underneath Stonewall National Monument, www.nps.gov slash s-t-o-n. Image of two statues depicting male figures in Christopher Park with rainbow flags in the background. Text appears, We Are Stonewall Arts Festival. Text and image fade away. Park Ranger Ann Stanley smiles at the camera, standing within Christopher Park in front of a fence with rainbow flags waving in the background. Hi, I'm Ranger Ann, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm a park ranger here at Stonewall National Monument. And to celebrate our fifth anniversary of the establishment of Stonewall as a national monument, we are happy to share with you these art submissions. The We Are Stonewall Arts Festival serves as a celebration of our fifth anniversary. And we thank you for joining us in this virtual program and we hope you enjoyed the celebration. Join us all year round on our social media to continue the fifth anniversary celebration. Text appears, We Are Stonewall Arts Festival and usernames for social media accounts. Text appears, the musical soundtrack that will now play is a submission to the We Are Stonewall Arts Festival, a song titled Just Love by Bobby Belfry. A painting of the Stonewall Inn with subtext reading Stonewall by Andrea Sosa Cardozo, New York, New York. It seems the forces of a reimagined past. A painting containing trees, bushes, and what appears to be apartment buildings reflecting off water, with subtext reading Reflections by Jim Johnson, Danville, Kentucky. A painting of two horses laying in a pasture with the wooden fence in the background, with subtext reading March in Kentucky by Jim Johnson, Danville, Kentucky. It's not only love, the painting on the screen shows various words including be kind to one another and it shows an area that appears to be Christopher Street and the area of Greenwich Village with subtext reading Let Us Live Without Fear by Anya Lata, Gilbert, Pennsylvania. Six panels of acrylic paintings pan across the screen each panel containing a different color of the rainbow flag, with subtext reading Colores, Ederales, Stonewall Edition by Jennifer Marie, Miami, Florida. A typed text submission recited by the author, with subtext reading What Stonewall Means to Me by Laura Mercedes Martinez, Allentown, Pennsylvania. What Stonewall Means to Me a garden for star girl. As I walk the streets that's resilience paved, I am, 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 I am. I am me in all of my ways. I am more than just the one you hear. Gracias por sus gritos. Each step, 7.7 .7 acres of steps towards justice. A thread of her family quilt. Nights that shaped my life before it existed. Unconditional love to myself. Unconditional love to my art. Con amor, Don Quieto Jardines. The following is a series of portraits featuring trans, drag artist Miss Simone and Monet. Came our resolve, still our world A photograph of Miss Simone and, and Monet smiling and staring at the camera. An image of Miss Simone with her hand in the air, standing in the center of Christopher Park Stonewall National Monument. An image of Miss Simone and Monet holding on to a pole leading up to a rainbow flag 
waving in Christopher Park Stonewall National Monument. An unclear image which appears to have been taken in Christopher Park containing a statue depicting a male figure, benches, lampposts, trees, rainbow flags in the background with subtext reading anonymous, New York, New York. A video submission titled Joy by Sierra Willoughby, Park Ranger, New York, New York. Sierra Willoughby stands in the foreground as he begins to share his story. The background contains digitally rendered image of snow-covered mountain peaks. Hello everybody, my name is Sierra and Stonewall means joy to me. That's the story I want to share today as we celebrate the fifth anniversary of Stonewall National Monument. I've worked as a national park ranger since 2001 in nine different sites, starting at Mount Rainier. An image of Mount Rainier starts at the peak and pans outwards. And in 2016, I happened to be working at Denali National Park and Preserve in Alaska. An image of park ranger Sierra Willoughby at Denali National Park. And the park had invited me to travel to Anchorage to go to Alaska Pride. And I got to march. I got to wear my, the flat hat and, and answer questions at the fair. And the, the happiest news of the day that we got to share with everybody there was that Stonewall is now a national monument. It was part of the Park Service. And it, was, it meant a lot, so not a lot to me because as I became a ranger, my favorite things to tell is to tell stories about volcanic eruptions at Mount Rainier. A photograph of park ranger Sierra Willoughby pointing off into the distance. Or how Denali became the tallest mountain in North America through tectonic activity and earthquakes. A photograph of Denali. And I thought, wouldn't it be so cool if the LGBTQ rights story could be something that's told in one of these national parks? And when I heard that, that Stonewall became part of the National Park Service, I was just so, it just made me so much more delighted to to work and serve as a park ranger in this agency. A photograph of two park rangers and a community member standing in front of Christopher Park, Stonewall National Monument. So happy fifth anniversary Stonewall National Monument and may it be a place that we continue to celebrate a video recording panning across the rainbow flags tied onto the fence of Christopher Park Stonewall National Monument. Continue to be a place that people come together as we face the challenges as LGBTQ Americans today in 2021 and that we ever move more toward equality, acceptance, compassion. We've come so far and we still have so much work left to do. So thank you. Uh, it's been great to share this story with you today. Happy Pride, everybody. An image of a park ranger character standing behind the word pride filled with the colors of the pride flag. Subtext reads, Joe Corber, park ranger, Queens, New York. Park ranger Joe Corber stares at the camera. Good morning. I'm Ranger Joe Corber here in New York City. As a lifelong New Yorker, an image of park rangers welcoming guests into Governor's Island. Stonewall Uprising is uh, among the important watershed events that occur. An image of the Stonewall National Monument's Junior Ranger Badge. In the history of New York City, in the history of the United States. And as an NPS Ranger, I'm tasked with protecting, preserving, teaching, and telling the stories of these watershed moments in our history. A photograph of Park Ranger Joe Corber in Civil War attire staring off into the distance. And it is our honor here in New York City to talk about the meaning of the Stonewall Uprising. A photograph of National Park Service employees in Civil War attire at Governor's Island National Monument. A uh, part of the American endeavor or struggle to 
seek out equality for all. A photograph of two statues representing male figures in Christopher Park Stonewall National Monument. So that's what we do and that's what I think about when we think about places like Stonewall here in New York City. Subtext reads, Just Love by Bobby Belfry, Nyack, New York. The following music video features members of the LGBTQ community in Rockland County, New York. In addition to being filmed in Rockland County, the music video also includes scenes that were filmed in the Greenwich Village, including in front of the Stonewall Inn. When things are not as they've always been When things change People change It seems the forces of a reimagined past The apple pie The red, white, and blue sky They try to keep us numb They try to keep us from Knowing that life goes on Knowing that most things aren't at all What the fairy tales teach They try not to hear The things we beseech It's not only love It's just love It's not only love It's just Justice ain't free The settled cost We're here for those we've lost Born from hatred, war, death and disease Came our resolve Still our world revolved As they try to keep us from The burden that would come From being who we from being a lonesome star in a universe of clones Tethered to a pulpit, occupied by drones It's not only love, it's, not only it's just love It's not only love, it's just love However many signs, however many books, however many lines, we stand, we stand, we stand, we stand, we stand, we stand. We stand. Please join us in honoring the following stakeholders who were prominently involved in the establishment of Stonewall National Monument. David Carter, 1952 to 2020. David's work as a historian writing about the Stonewall Uprising of 1969 preserved the history of the movement 
and helped Greenwich Village become listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Mr. Carter also trained the first cadre of park rangers duty stationed at Stonewall National Monument after it was established in 2016. Janet Weinberg, 1955 to 2020. Janet was an LGBTQ activist, advocate for individuals with HIV AIDS and their disability rights in New York City. Weinberg contributed to major projects to mark LGBTQ history, including Stonewall National Monument. She was a key advisor to the National Park Service during planning to create the Park Management Plan. Joy Pitchman, 1966 to 2021. As a longtime National Park Service employee, Joy served as an advisor to the superintendent and park rangers to initiate interpretive and educational programs for the public and school groups. She also created the first park brochure for Stonewall National Monument. Thanks so much for joining us. We are Stonewall Arts Festival. Continue the celebration with Stonewall National Monument by submitting your artwork to stonewall at nps.gov. The National Park Service Arrowhead logo appears with text underneath Stonewall National Monument, www.nps.gov stonewall.